In this video we have to show to solve the problem with some Mac computers. Sometimes Mac laptop or computer restart and shows an error message that your computer restarted because of a problem. Press a key or wait a few seconds. Do you know what is the reason for this issue? This is due to some kernel panic. Here, we will show you some possibilities and some solutions. Fix number one. Please check your Mac OS version. Maybe it is outdated or it needs some update. To check that, click the Apple logo on the left top corner and select about this Mac option. From that click software update option, your Mac now check for software update. If any update is available please install that update and restart your computer. There is some errors or bug in any software that is already installed in your Mac. Also please check the plugins and add-on softwares installed in your Mac. You can check the installed softwares by clicking the launch pad or by selecting the finder window and click the application section. From that you can see all installed apps or softwares in your system. To check the plugins and add-ons in browsers, open Safari browser to check Safari add-ons. Click the Safari text and open preferences. From that click extensions, now you can see the installed extensions and add-ons in Safari. Please reinstall the add-ons if needed. Then open Firefox. Click the Firefox text on top. Then go to Preferences and open Extension and Themes. Here you can see installed extensions, plugins, themes etc. Reinstall if needed. You can also check Google Chrome add-ons by using the same method. Also check the connected peripheral devices such as printers. Other external devices except Apple peripherals like Apple Keyboard and Mouse. To check the connected peripheral devices, go to System Preferences, then open Printers and Scanners, or check other connected devices like keyboard, mouse, etc. from that option. There are deep hardware issues like battery damage and heating issues in CPU due to thermal fan complaint or due to old thermal cooling paste used for CPU cooling. Please check the thermal paste and change it if it is too old or damaged. Also check and clean the fans. Check the battery. If you have a damaged battery inside the Mac, then you can find it easily by clicking the battery icon on the top and check the warning message, Service Recommended. If the warning message is there, change the battery immediately. Your Mac OS has some errors. Please do a clean Mac OS reinstall. Before that, do back up all your important data. Repair Disk Permissions for repair disk permissions click the spotlight search icon and type disk utility. Click the Macintosh SSD icon, click first aid and run that tool. Another method used to repair disk permission is by using commands in terminal window. Open terminal window by clicking the spotlight search icon from the top and type terminal, then open terminal window and type the following commands, disk util. Space reset user permissions, space black slash, and then tilde key. By pressing alt plus tilde, then type, id, space, dash u and again add a tilde symbol. Click enter. Wait for a few seconds to complete the resetting disk permission process. The commands are already given in the description box. You can copy from there and paste directly to the terminal window. Exit the terminal window and restart the system. Free up disk space. For that click the Apple logo icon, click about this Mac, then click storage, open manage, click optimize storage and empty the bin too. For free up more disk space by using an application named Clean My Mac, open Clean My Mac and select Smart Scan for a fast checking. System junks for cleaning junk files, trash bins for cleaning recycle bin, optimization for apps, maintenance section for free up RAM, clean purgeable space. Clean the DNS cache and repair disk permissions. Uninstaller used for removing any damaged apps. And updater is used for checking any updates and installed apps. Clean My Mac is also used to monitor CPU temperature, workload, network speed, RAM usage, and battery usage too. Disable unnecessary startup items. Open system preferences. Open users and group. Then click the current user and open the login items. Check if you have any unwanted startup items there. Removing the items by selecting the item and click the minus icon to remove the selected item. Reset PRAM or NVRAM. 
PRAM and NVRAM saves some important settings information on your Mac including the startup disk selection. You can manually remove and fix the startup disk, such as HDD or SSD by removing it from the inserted slot and the clean the slot manually. And insert it again, or you can reset the PRAM and NVRAM to fix if it caused by kernel panic error. For resetting the PRAM and NVRAM, force shut down your Mac. Press the power button and press and hold the option plus command plus P plus R key at the same time. Your Mac will restart after 20 seconds later. The RAM resetting process is completed. Enter Mac OS recovery mode. Force shut down the Mac. Press power button. Press and hold command plus R keys. Release the key when you see the Apple logo. The system automatically enter into the recovery mode. That is Mac OS utility screen. Recover your OS by following the instructions. Please do try all these tips to rectify the errors. Hope it will works. Hope you like this. Please like, comment, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.